Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gamer Dad 89 where today we're doing our first Xbox Ultimate Game Pass video which is going to be Marvel's The Avengers obviously on the Xbox One released September the 1st 2020 published by Square Enix with a 66% rating on Metacritic that is dramatically lowered when you look at the rating of users, 285 reviews takes it down to 3.6, and I gotta admit, I understand why. Now, I played the beta for this game on the PlayStation, and I'm not gonna lie, I had considerably less issues. Um, I edited it out, but for some reason, every so often, the character, Kamala, would just walk in circles after I'd let go of both the analog sticks don't entirely know what that's all about, the controls just seem a little bit janky as they are constantly anyway. Now Square Enix generally are in good favour with the public, but they finally misstepped with this game and that's purely because, one, Spider-Man still hasn't been released for the exclusive on PlayStation 4, and two, because they've decided to suddenly add pay to earn XP, I was going to say pay to win but it's really not, it's just pay to pay to advance. Uh, you do get one free one from the store, it's a XP boost uh, and it's 1.5 XP and it's pointless. I don't understand why they would go to the extent of doing this. Possibly just so people can 100% the game, but I've just gone through the achievements and it's not that difficult. Possibly the hardest one is called Treasure Trove. Only 0.20% of all players have it. But the rest of them, there's there's no difficulty spike, there's no replay, and just to go over the trophies that trophies achievements that I've earned for it, just playing this small portion of the game, I got the and that's how it's done. One that you would consider possibly to be one of the harder achievements to get, which is kill ten or more with one hero ability. It's not that difficult. I basically got it during the tutorial as Hulk when he does his thunderclap. I didn't even notice there was that many people there to kill. The second one I got was Golden Ticket. And then the third one was Prized Collection. They're both basically essentially the same trophy. You get them both for collecting all five of the comic books as Kamala. And that's it. You get the five comics, you get to go on the balcony. Which progresses the story anyway, so you can't not get these, if that makes sense. Somehow, they only had a 72% collection rate on the achievements list. But other than that, let's get into the actual review of the gameplay of it. First off, as normal, I'm going to talk about the main menu, which I've got to admit I'm not a big fan of. For some reason they decided to go with the style of having it as a... I don't want to say stylus. It's more of like you're controlling a mouse icon and you've got to hover over them instead of just choosing a regular menu. Seems like they've taken the inspiration from Destiny for that, and that's one of the things I didn't like about Destiny anyway. Gameplay-wise, it's pretty straightforward. The graphics are great, so I've got no complaints there. Square Enix have always done good with their graphics, but the gameplay lets them down here. It just seems a little bit stale and repetitive. It's just the general X for light, Y for heavy, and then you've got characters who should be able to fly like Thor as you saw I was floundering around trying to make him fly just to see if I could and he couldn't he's the god of thunder he should be able to fly that's one issue I've got with the game and I am a big fan of the Avengers of all comic book heroes basically within reason but Iron Man for some reason he when you are flying him the default controls for flying are not inverted which if you're me, that's a big issue. I couldn't play it. That's why the edited section for him flying was so short. That's another reason I've got issue with the game, but it's not a difficult thing to change. Playing as Hulk, this is where I had the biggest problem. For some reason, his sensitivity to being controlled is just stupidly insane. I fell off platforms that I shouldn't have fallen off 
countless times. I think I died with Hulk maybe five times. And it just didn't make any sense to me why it was happening. You've got the clearly marked areas as you do in every game. You jump and grab the red areas. But whether or not Hulk actually does it, and it might have just been me that had the issue with it, which I don't think it was, because it happened to me on the PlayStation as well. It might just be a case of maybe I was impatient and trying to skip forward too much. Now, playing as Black Widow was generally one of the funner aspects of the game. Thor just seemed a little bit clunky and slow. Iron Man, again, somehow just too slow. Even when he's doing his focus beams, he should be able to move faster than that. He's just literally pointing his hands at people. Black Widow was possibly my favorite character to play as. She didn't jump off to her death at all. Uh, I did actually get to play as Captain America, but for some reason, as I transferred the footage over, that one got lost in the, lost in translation, shall we say. So, so far, I've got to say the game kind of deserves its reputation. The gameplay for certain characters is so much better than others, and I remember thinking this when I was playing the beta on the PlayStation, that it's generally just too slow, just too clunky, and it just doesn't overall work that well. Sadly, I've got to admit that this game deserves the reputation it has. I'm not going to be playing this one over the course of a month. This Xbox series is just going to be one and done, purely because I don't want to constantly lose my uh, captured footage. It just makes it more painstaking and annoying. Now this, this part is fantastic, Veil of Shadows, but it doesn't actually tell you what to do. So I just decided to spam him and he just stands there and takes it. I get it, it's the first AI boss and it's letting you in on the game, but it should have given you some instruction, like you can get close and you can smash his face off. Poor Taskmaster. Dumb dirty. But hey, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please consider subscribing. And I'm gonna have to give Avengers from Square Enix a 2 out of 5. It upsets me, but I barely enjoyed playing it. And like I said, I'm not gonna be playing it again. Thanks for watching.